Hi Noshin. Hello. Welcome back. Okay. So, present perfect continues. Right. So we did present perfect. Yes, we did present perfect we and the past perfect. Yeah. And we understood that present perfect is has or have. Yes. So present perfect continuous is has been plus ing mm -hmm. or have been plus ing. Yeah. Has been plus ing with singular. Yes. And have been plus ing with plural. Naturally. So so, so if you see has which is singular beans plus ing that's singular. Yeah. And if you see the have been plus, plus ing, ing which is a plural. plural. Yeah. Okay. So now what is a present perfect continuous tense? Where do we use it? We use it when we want to say that something happened in the past mm -hmm. is ongoing and is still ongoing. It has not stopped till now. Right. It has been in progress for, for a period, period until, until now. now. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to the sentences, it says, I have, yeah. okay. I have been meaning to phone Jack since I heard he was back in the country. Yeah. Since when I'm doing it? Since I heard, yeah, that he, he is back. He was the, back. Since then, I'm doing it. That means I'm still doing it. Yes. Okay. The competition has been running every year since 1980. 1980. So yes. it started in 1980, but it's still has going been on. running. So yes, yes. It's still going on. She has been living in New Zealand for over a uh, year now. She started one year back. Right. But she's still living there. Okay, so I'll just put a year. She has been. Yeah. So this form. Right, she has been living in New Zealand for over a year now. She has been living there and she still lives there. Yes, right. people have been saying for ages that building should be pulled down. Right. Since ages till now. Yes. So anything which started in the past and is still going on, that is present perfect continuous. In the past and, and goes still on. Yes, that is? Is PPC. Right. Present perfect continuous. Perfect. Okay, so the past perfect continuous, let's see what past perfect continuous Let's look at past perfect continuous. Right. Yes. Had been, had is past perfect. Yes. And had been plus ing is past perfect continuous. So, had been plus ing form, this is your past perfect continuous. We understood had and we understood that it means that it happened. It the two actions happened in the past. The first action is had. had. Yes. So now there were two actions in the past, but there was some gap between those two actions. Yeah. So to understand that gap, we use past perfect continuous. Mm -hmm. That is for how long was the first action ongoing mm -hmm. when the second action started or second action happened. So for that, we use past perfect. That means it talks about a situation or activity that happened over a period up to the particular past time or the particular next moment in the event in the past. Okay. She had been studying English for, for two, two years, years before, before she, she got the job. So yeah, so this happened yes. earlier and she did kept on doing it for two years. For two years. Right. If I say I had been wait I had waited for him before yeah, he yeah. arrived. Let me just put it here. I had waited for him for him before he arrived. Before he arrived. Right, so this tells me there were two actions. Yes. First action is I waited and the second action is that he uh, arrived. Yes. Now I wanted to tell you that for how long did I wait for him. Hmm. So I'll say I had been waiting for him. I had been waiting for him. For two hours. For two hours. Before he finally arrived or before he arrived. Before arrived. Now I still know that there were, there were two actions. Yes. But I know that uh, first action was ongoing for two hours before the second action happened. Yes. So this this is ongoing for two hours before the second action. Before the second action started. Yeah. So if we again make the diagram. Yeah. Which we made the last time. Okay. So a lion. Right. I just made a diagram as well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, I'll draw a line. And your right side is present. And this is present. No, this is past. Sorry, past. And this is present. Present. Now you know there were two actions. Mm -hmm. The first is had. Yeah. And second is was or ed. Yes. Now if I put a dotted line between these two. Okay. That means the first action was ongoing till the second. Yes. So this dotted line presents had been plus ing. Had been 
plus. So this tells me, tells me that the first action yes. was ongoing till the next. Absolutely action. understood. I hope this is clear. This is absolutely clear. Right. So what you're saying is, if, if the action was in past, yeah. which is here and in present, right. had was the first action, was is the second action, was or the ED. Yes. Is the second action. Now, if there's something that I need to show between them, mm -hmm. which is this line, it is shown by had been plus ing, yeah. which is the? The period. Which is the past perfect continuous. Yes, this is the past perfect and this is the period of that first action. Yes, past perfect continuous. Right. I hope it's absolutely clear. I hope so too. Yeah. Okay, so we understood present perfect, yeah. past perfect, mm -hmm. present perfect continuous, yes. past perfect continuous. Yes. Let's study now future perfect and future perfect continuous. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. Yes. It's in the next slide? Yes. Where you go? I'll have to repeat again. Yeah. The past perfect. We say there are two actions in the past. Yeah. First action is always the past perfect mm -hmm. and second action is ED. ED. Similarly, in future perfect, mm -hmm. there will be two actions. Two in actions will happen in future. The first action will be future perfect. Two actions in future. The first one will be future, future perfect. Future perfect, that is will have. Right. Which is the will have. have form. Right. Yeah. So if you go to the sentence here. This one? Yes. Yeah. By the time we reach the theater, the chat show would have finished. Yes. Okay. So that means which is the first action? Would have. Would have finished. Yeah. So second action is will reach the theater. Yes. Okay. Now, similarly we said the uh, past perfect continuous is mm -hmm. that there were two ac actions in the past yes. and mm, first action happened and there was a period between those two actions yes. and that period was past perfect continuous. Mm -hmm. Similarly, there, were, mm, there will be two actions in the future. Let me make a diagram for this as well. Then. We'll do that, yes. So, so let's just make it a diagram. This way. What okay. you're saying is that there are two... Uh, yeah. This one is present. So one is present and, and one is future. future. So there will be two actions in future future and then you're saying that there are two actions represented by let's say the red ones right and so first action will always be future perfect this is future perfect second action uh, comes in present simple because it is always with the time frame present simple and we know that there is an exception to the rule that with the, pre uh, with the time conjunction we don't use future we always use present simple yes okay so this is pre future perfect? Yes. Now, if I want to say the period between these two. This one. Yes. So that period will be future perfect continuous. This becomes future perfect continuous. We say by the time we reach the theater, yeah. the chart show would have started. Right. So let me just write this down again. By the time yes we reach theater we reach theater the chat show would have started theater the chat show would have started right so what tense is here so would have is the is the future perfect so there will be two actions yes so this is the first one. This is the first one. And by the time we reach yeah. theater, yeah. So this this is the second one. Right. So if I say the chat show would have been ongoing for two hours. Right. By the time we reach the theater. So you're saying by the time we reach the theater, the chat show would have been ongoing. Ongoing for two hours. So that means we already have covered two hours yes. when when we reach the theater. Understood. So that ongoing for two hours tells me it is future perfect. This continuous. part will be if if I would have would have been ongoing. Yeah. If you go to the back uh, slide, uh, back I to the slide. I just go to the slide. Yeah. yeah. So it says the play would have been ongoing, uh, going on for an hour mm -hmm. when we reached the auditorium. This one. Yeah. The play would have been going on for an hour when we reached the auditorium. Yeah. Right. So, so that means would have been going on. Yeah. So this part. Yeah. Is the future perfect continuous. Right. So this part, so that is why we did it at the end, so that you understand it from the past perfect continuous. It becomes easier this way. Yes, it it, it becomes easier. Right. So you already understood past perfect and past perfect continuous. You know that all those events were in the past. Yes. It's the same logic, same rule, but that the actions are in the uh, are will be in are the going future. to happen in the future. future.
Right, so you got a phone call. Yeah. Okay. I'll put it on silent. No, no issues. Okay, so uh, do we go to the next slide? Yes, let's see. I think we threw with the tenses. Now okay, we'll, so, so we'll, we'll take sentence we, so we'll take sentence in the next, next video. video. Right. Perfect. Thank you, Nashin. Thank you.